we are going to have discussion on linear and non-linear inductors and in the previous lecture we obtained two equations equation one was psi equal to n phi this was the first equation and the equation two was psi equal to l i and when you look at the left hand side of the two equations you will find they are same therefore we can write n phi equal to l i and from here we can say that inductance l is equal to n phi over i and we know n is the number of turns and it is constant phi is the flux produced by single turn and i is the current through the inductor now when you increase current i flux phi will also increase and when you decrease current i flux phi will decrease therefore phi is directly proportional to i and hence we can say that the ratio phi over i is going to be constant and when we multiply a constant with other constant we are going to get constant so l is equal to constant and this type of inductor we call as linear inductor in this type of inductor inductance is independent of the current magnitude and i will give you one example the example is air core inductor so air core inductor is the inductor in which inductance is independent of the current magnitude and when you plot the characteristics between phi and i you will have a straight line like this from here we can justify that we will get a straight line we can rearrange this and we can write it as phi equal to l over n multiplied to i in this phi is equal to y the y axis i is equal to x the x axis l over n is the slope m and the intercept c is equal to zero that's why the line is passing through the origin and as both l and n are constants the slope is going to be constant it will not change with i now we will move on to the next type that is non-linear inductor in case of non-linear inductor the inductance of the inductor is dependent on the current magnitude and this will happen because phi will not change linearly with current i there is a core inside the inductor and therefore when you increase current i phi will increase but after some time when current i is high there will be saturation of the material of the core and therefore phi will not increase equally and hence we have a non-linear curve and we call the inductor non-linear inductor the example is iron core inductor but we operate we operate in this region and you can see that in this region the slope is constant and hence the inductor is treated as linear so i hope you now understand the difference between linear inductor and the non-linear inductor remember this relation it will help you to derive your conclusions